Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I let you guys decide the fate of my makeup look. I put up a bunch of polls on my Instagram stories and you guys voted away. So thank you for making all the decisions for me. I'm interested to see what products won this time around. So before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. Okay, so for primers, I had you guys choose between the Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide from e.l.f. or the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm No Filter primer which sounds very interesting the elf primer won with 67% which I actually expected this one to win because it sounds very weird <laughs> I guess different than what we've seen I've tried it and it feels very interesting I'll talk about it more in another video but this one says that it instantly tightens and firms and blurs the appearance of fine lines pores and imperfections and there's like a kind of a funny instruction manual to it. I don't know. I'll try it out another day, but I was secretly hoping for that one, as you can probably tell. But yes, let's go for the e.l.f. Power Grip, which I'm not mad about. I think both of them were really great choices. This is a great primer for longevity. It's quite sticky. I like to put the bulk of it in the center of my face where I'm quite oily, and I feel like it does a good job at creating a barrier. Look at that tack. Following up with foundation, I put up the option between the Westman Atelier Foundation or the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I've never tried, but the Westman Atelier won with 51%. This one was the closest poll. I have the shade 3. This is going to be my second time trying this foundation out. The first time I used it, I warmed it up in the palm of my hand because sometimes stick foundations can be very waxy and hard to maneuver around the face, but this one's very creamy. I bought this foundation for a specific video. I believe it's going to be up by now, but it was my Trying Allure's Best in Beauty of 2022 video. That was so fun. I really liked that video concept, so. And I also enjoyed how this looked. So I'm going to blend it out with my BK Beauty 101 brush, which I believe I still have a discount code for, which I'll leave down below or put up on screen. The 101 brush is my favorite out of the ones I've tried so far, but most of them are really good. This is just the one I reach for the most often. This is one of the most luxurious foundations, and cost-wise anyways, it costs $88 Canadian, which is wild, and I'm still trying to figure out if it's worth it. I really enjoy the way it looks. The finish is gorgeous. It looks very glowy and it's very corrective, but I don't know. Is it $88 worth? I feel like I'm going to have to test it out a few more times before I come to that conclusion, but so far it is really good. It seems to be pretty hassle-free. It blended out the exact same way as it did when I warmed it up on the palm of my hand, so that's nice. I think the shade is a little bit dark for me, but it's okay. I'd rather it be a little dark than too light because when it's too light, I feel like it really picks up on texture and it just enhances imperfection sometimes, but yeah, inconclusive though. Now for concealer, I had you guys choose between the Milk Makeup Future Fluid or the Huda Beauty Faux Filter. And Milk Makeup won with 63 I don't know why it's so hard for me to talk today. I have this one Pedro Pascal edit stuck in my head and I won't leave. Like, it's just in the forefront of my brain and I can't function properly. Um, that man is gorgeous. And I'm going to be using this concealer in the shade 6C. 6C, Pedro Pascal is 6C. Have you guys been watching the Last of Us. It's pretty good so far. I really like the style, the style being Pedro Pascal, and it was also filmed in the city I live. Well, half of it. It was filmed in Edmonton and Calgary, so it's really cool to see my downtown in the show. So cool. In the second episode, near the end, that's where all of the grad students go to take their grad photos. It was so funny. I was like, oh my god, there's the ledge! I don't know how that became a thing, but yeah. We take limos to go take pictures at the ledge in our fancy dresses and get plastered <laughs> at a government building. Underage, of course. Uh, who 
Togo's tradition. But yeah, very cool to see. And I remember seeing all of these photos of them making our downtown look super apocalyptic. Apocalyptic? I don't know. Really fun to see that. Anyways, anyways, now moving on to under eye powder. I put up the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom, the Pat McGrath under eye powder, and the e.l.f. Prime and Stay powder. And e.l.f. won with 39%. Pretty close across the board. But yeah, e.l.f. came on top. And I'm going to apply it with this Moda Pro Accentuate brush. What the frig happened right there? Did I just not blend that part out? Pedro, you're really ruining my life today. This base, hold on a second. You guys did something. Okay, what? I feel like I look straight out of a magazine with this skin finish. Stop it right now. Now for bronzer, there was the choice between the Say bronzer, NYX Wonder Stick, or the M Cosmetics powder bronzer, and NYX won with 38%. Again, kind of a closer poll. There wasn't like a super winner in this round, so I'm going to be using, I believe, the shade Universal Fair. Let's see if this is a bit dark for me now. Maybe a touch dark. And you guessed it, I'm using my Moda blending fan, of course. Ooh yeah, might be a little dark. I should have gone for fair, but that's okay. This stuff stretches. I'm trying to shove it near my hairline to get rid of some of that pigmentation. Maybe just for funsies, I'm going to add a little bit of fair, hopefully to kind of neutralize that orangey tone that's pulling. This one's quite a bit more cool toned in comparison. I also just wanted the excuse to draw on more. I find it really fun to draw on this product. <laughs> I'm also getting ready to film some stuff for another tournament. I'm thinking of doing lip glosses. I know a lot of you wanted bronzer, but I thought that was going to be very predictable again. We all know the Makeup by Mario skin enhancer would probably win, so I didn't want to have two really predictable ones back to back. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like I'll revisit the bronzer one once we have another bronzer boom near the end of spring. That's what I'm thinking. Next up for highlighter, I gave you the option between the M Cosmetics Cushion Highlighter, the Say Highlighter, or the Rare Beauty Powder Highlight. And to no surprise, the Rare Beauty Highlight won with 61%. So this one was a sweep. I'm trying to act surprised, but anything Rare Beauty always wins. <laughs> I just wanted to test out the theory and it, it's true. Rare Beauty always wins. I'm going to be using the shade Exhilarate. This one is my favorite out of the four. And of course, the one that works best for my skin tone. And I'm using another Accentuate brush from Moda. I'm going for it today. I'm putting a lot on. <laughs> the effect is just so fun. Oh, I forgot to blend that out. Who's going to tell me? Whoa. Now for blush, I let you guys choose between the Flavero and Albedo cream blushes or the Fenty Beauty Double Cheeked Up Freestyle Cream Blush Duo. This one that came out in the holidays. Both really cute colors. This one won <laughs> with 61%. Let's swatch both colors. So here they are on their own and I tried to mix them as well. I wanted to see. Very cute. Kind of my two blush moods as of late, either pinky or this kind of rusty tone. So it's fun that it comes in one 
one thing. So what shades, oh god, I'm gonna look ahead to see what else won. I'm kind of cheating, but I want to just have a good outcome. I don't know what tone will suit what I'm doing later. Okay. Ooh, okay. I feel like either one would work for the eye look. I'm leaning more towards the pink, I think. Mm, what would work best? Yeah, the pink will work. And I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush to apply. It's time to set this face and I gave you the option between the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder or the Kosas Cloud Set and Kosas won with 60%. I'm going to be using the shade Feathery and I'm applying it with this BK Beauty 107 brush. I know so many of you are a huge fan of when I set my face so here we go. Are you ready? If you're cleaning, look at the screen. <laughs> Pay attention! <laughs> It is very satisfying. I'm with you on that. I didn't put anything up for eyebrows or eye primer, so I'm going to do that real quick. So please enjoy the brow intermission. You guys, this base is insane. I need to take note of this base. This is one of the most beautiful skin looks I've ever done, I think. It's just, what I want my skin to look like on a more perfected day. Like what? Okay, moving on to eyes. There's a few things. So I asked if I should incorporate some of these Nabla Cupid's Arrow liners and you guys said yes with 79%, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> I love working with these. These are, in my opinion, the best products from Nabla. They're just incredible. And I have so many incredible shades. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know. Here they are. <laughs> And for eyeshadow palettes, I gave you the choice between the Pat McGrath Mothership and the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette, but the Pat McGrath palette won with 54%. So this one was pretty close, but this is the palette I'll be using today. I don't think I've ever actually used this on my channel, so it's gonna be a fun one today. I think this is one of the prettiest ones. It's so fun to look at, and these two shades, forget about it. So gorge. So maybe I should stay in the blues. So I have a few blues in the Nabla pencils. I have the shades Arrow number no. 6, which is a nice navy blue, and Powder Blue. Maybe, maybe. I also thought I could do something very smoky with this gorgeous gray one. It's called Midnight Gray. I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with something fun here because this blue shade... It's calling out to me. I'm just slowly starting to swatch the entire palette. Okay, getting the gears going here. Here's the snazzy eye look I'm going to be doing today. I freaking love it. Okay, here's how I did it. So I'm taking the Nabla Cupid's Arrow in the shade Powder Blue to begin with, and I drew this directly onto my eye, just on my mobile lid. In a pretty opaque layer and then I'm taking this flat brush this is a Moda eye shader and I'm going to tap the edges of that I'm actually going to blend with the tip of the brush pulling upwards because sometimes with lighter colors like this it's really hard to get a smooth base like they can get patchy pretty quickly just because of how white based they are I'm going to add another layer and do the same thing Now I put the cap on. <laughs> I took a little bit of this shade right here from the Pat McGrath palette. This one right here. Boop, 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 boop. And I lightly dusted this in the crease.
Now I'm taking my other Nabla Cupid's Arrow in the shade number six. It's kind of confusing. Some of them are just numbered and some of them have actual names. This one is just numbered six. And I'm taking a bit of this on an angled eyeliner brush. This is a Smith 203. And I'm going to sketch a pretty normal eyeliner, just a bit thicker than I would usually do. My base got a little bit janky, but I can easily clean that up with eyeliner. I feel like that one's curlier than the other one too. Damn it! I'll fix that a little later. Now I'm taking this Glisten number F1 brush. Now I'm taking this Glisten F1 brush. Looks like this. And I took a little bit of this Nabla pencil and I'm going to start doing this inner corner detail. Starting with a small amount of product and working my way up because I don't want to overwhelm this space. And I also took a little pencil brush just to help soften it out without adding any more pigment. Okay, and that's enough of that for a moment. I know it looks weird, but we're going to be adding the blues from this palette now. So I'm going to take this lighter shimmery blue and I'm going to pat that all over my lid. Then this is an F3 brush from Glisten. I'm taking that blue from the palette and I'm going to press that into the Nabla liner that we created. And then with my fingertip, I did a little bit of that one that we used all over the lid, that blue shade. And then I took a little of this golden yellow right here, just to brighten it up a little. I think my camera died in the middle of a sentence, but I took that yellowy shade and popped it in the inner corner. Kind of sandwiching that blue shift. I feel like it brightened it and added a little something different. And here we are. Now I'm taking a brush to clean up the edge. This is a F2 brush from Glisten. And this is going to be tricky because blue pigment is so hard to clean up. It always turns kind of green and it just stays put. So you want to wipe off your brush a lot. And then with one of those F brushes, this is the F1, I'm taking a mixture of these two shades. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm putting that on the lower lash line right here. Connecting it a little bit. And then I'm dipping into the blue reflect the dark one and I'm putting that under here too just to tie things in. I freaking love this eye look. There's nothing like a shimmery reflective blue like that. Oh, just fills my soul with happiness. Moving on to mascara, I I gave you the option between two, the Say mascara and the Lancome, and Lancome one with 55%. I'm excited to see what this looks like with mascara. Look what I just done. Jeez Louise, I'm too excited to get my lashes on. Jesus. Well, that turned out to be a really cool effect. It kind of clumped up. That looks awesome. This is Okay, this is one of my new top favorite eye looks I've ever done. I, oh, and the blush, stop. You guys did so good. Okay, now let's move on to lips. So I have two different lip liner formulas here. So it was either this new brand to me. I think this is Becky G's brand, Tres Luz. Tres, I know it's Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm gonna butcher this. Tres Luz <laughs> and the Nabla 
pencils and Nabla won with 70%. So I'm going to pick a shade and lucky for me, there is a plethora of shades. <laughs> so which one's going to suit this? Probably 2.5 is the first one that popped into mind. This is one of their newer colors and I think it'll suit the blush better. Yeah. Or I could even do 3.5, which is a deeper version. Maybe 3.5. I'm gonna go with 3.5. I feel like I use 2.5 a lot. Oh, that was a good noise. Oh. Hi, yes, my name is Julia and I have ADHD. Okay. Ooh, against my actual lip tone, that looks very mauve -y. No, 2.5 was the correct choice. Always follow your gut, everyone. Okay, okay, okay. And finally, for lipsticks, I put up three different formulas because I couldn't decide. <laughs> it was so funny, I couldn't decide what products to place in these polls. It took me forever. So thank goodness you guys came down to which one was the one. So I have the YSL, the Bold Lipsticks, the Clay de Peau lipsticks, or the are they Tres Luz <laughs> lipsticks, and YSL one with 44% which I would have assumed Clay de Peau to win for some reason. So I'm happy to see why sell. I haven't used these much yet. I think I've only used one of the shades once. So let's see what we got. So this is shade 12. Cute, very cute. This is shade, oh God, what? 1971. Cute, but I won't be going in with that. I feel like that will clash. And then the last one here is 10. I think the first option is the best. That one's too orangey, too red, and then the last one is perfect. So shade number 12 it is. Oh, smells good. It smells like YSL, obviously. You guys are so talented. Look at the choices you've made. <laughs> I just adore how this makeup turned out. I don't think I've ever been disappointed in the results from one of these videos. This is so good. Thank you for getting my creative juices going, you guys. But it's time for me to say goodbye. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. I will list and link everything in the description down below just to make it easier for you all. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.